Hey guys, King of Charm Matters here. Today I bring to you the best guide for the Lucky Dragon Hammer. Best builds and a showcase. So first we're going to start off with the Lucky Dragon Hammer stats. It starts at grade 5, its base attack is 370, its affinity is 0% with its base elemental attack being 181. And its element is Dragon. And it comes with the equipment skill Divine Blessing at level 1 which gets to level 2 at grade 8. This gives you a 30% chance of reducing damage from a monster's attack by 50%. At level 2, I believe it's 40%, but yes, it needs to be at level 8 for you to get that boost. And here's my first impression of the Lucky Dragon Hammer. It's a dragon head on top of a hammer. That's really cool. I wish it could breed fire though, like if it could breed fire or like it had like a fire animation to it, like something like that, it'd be pretty dang cool. But it's really cool and Divine Blessing is an okay defensive skill. I don't like Divine Blessing. It As an extra, it's a nice to have. But overall, attack, 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 and bonk. Death by bonk. And it could have a better equipment skill like I mentioned before, but Hammer hits hard enough to where you can wait for Dragon Attack 5. So the build I'm going to showcase for this video, you can use it all the way up until you get Dragon Attack 5, but it's a solid build. If you don't want to go Dragon Attack 5, you could go with this build instead. And the best build for the Lucky Dragon Hammer is a crit build plus crit boost. No, this build is viable even after Dragon Attack 5 releases. So even after you get Dragon Attack 5, this is the meta damage build for the hammer in general. To have this and use it, you need the Lucky Lunar New Year weapon, of course. You don't need it at Grade 8, but at Grade 8 you get Divine Blessing Level 2. You need the Kuluyaku Helmet at Grade 4 at a minimum. So at Grade 4 you get Lock On plus Critical Eye Level 1. So this build already comes with lock on, so you don't need to sub for any armor, etc. to get lock on. You also need the Rathalos Mail at grade 6 for weakness exploit level 2. And the Azur Rathalos Fan Braces at grade 6, which give you critical boost level 2, increasing the damage multiplier of your critical hits to 135 instead of 125. You also need the Pink Rathian Coil and Kuluyaku Greaves at grade 6. Each one at grade 6 will give you critical eye level 2 and combined give you 4 levels of critical eye. Overall, you get a 65% chance of critical hit as long as you're hitting weak spots and you do a solid amount of damage and you're going to see all that damage just rack up according to the showcase I'm about to show you in a bit. And again, this build is viable even after Dragon Attack 5 releases. You bonk, you smash, you blow your opponent, you blow your the opponent's head off by smashing it with your Dragon Hammer and... Again, this is the meta build as of right now, at least until Dragon Attack 5 releases. And now let's bust out the boink, the power of the boink, the Lucky Dragon Hammer Showcase. My Lucky Dragon Hammer is only a new fort, so grade 5, level 1 out of 5. The critical eye level 5 can do big damage, especially to dragon weak monsters, so this build plus the critical boost, which is the Azarathalos loves, as you see here, it can do some work against a lot of the monsters. I kind of really F up against this, the rock. Okay, so don't hit the Kuluyaku rock, okay? If it is holding the stone, aim for some part, other part of its body. Do not aim for the direct, do not aim for the rock. You know what I mean? Because you, you won't smell what the Kuluyaku is cooking. It'll just smack in front of you. But I'm able to just paralyze it right here, break its dome, and then we boink to victory. Now, the thing about this build is that, what are just the, the lucky dragon hammer in general, is that... Divine Blessing is nice. Don't rely on too much now, though. Hammer can boink and stun. As you saw, I got the one stun on Kuluyaku for this battle. So yeah, if you do enough, you're going to stun. And again, don't hit the rock. Just hit something else. I will power up fully to a full charge. And somehow it still didn't die. So what the heck, dude? And now it finally goes down. But this is, again, Critical Eye Level 5 build is pretty strong. And combine that with the boink damage plus stun capability, you got one hell of a weapon and a build. But once Dragon Attack level 5 becomes a thing, the hammer can do some big damage. This is a great weapon to invest in long term for the dragon element, especially if it reflects off of Monster Hunter World. There's a lot of things that the dragon element can do. And it's pretty sweet that we have two for the event exclusive weapons. It's kind of annoying that they cost a lot of tickets and whatnot to build. But you know what, if you love the dragon head on top of a stick like I do, and this pretty sweet boink to the finish of this Rothian hunt, then you will like this. But please do me a huge favor, please like, subscribe, and comment for the YouTube algorithm. I really appreciate it. I wish you the best luck in your grinds, and I will see y'all on the next video.